All right, hey guys, welcome back to Roy Blue Effects. In today's video, we're gonna quickly talk about how to trade news, specifically the NFP news. Now, a lot of you may have different ideas of how to trade it, but in this video, we have three ways to trade it, and I'm only gonna go with one of them, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make this a three-part series where I explain the NFP news on this video, and then explain to you how we trade news in general. So, again, in this video, we're just gonna talk about, we're just gonna talk about the NFP news, okay? So the way we, the way this works is essentially when uh, news opens, uh, price usually runs uh, one of the ways, obviously bullish or bearish. So um, <clears throat> if we're let's say, let's just say we're going bullish, for example, right? When news comes, it it there's high there's a high chance of um, you know um, anticipate. Uh, uh, unpredictability if that's a word <laughs> unpredictable unpredictable <laughs> um way that price can go right it, price could either go bullish or bearish right so um let's just say in this case right if we were say if trend was bearish on a larger time frame structure like this right and price comes right at to a high okay and price comes to a supply zone right um and you're thinking okay well let's say news comes at 8.30. Well, we're gonna talk about it in a second, but let's just say price comes here, right? At supply zone, right? And then price, and then um, news is about to happen, right? Our anticipation as traders, we're always looking to sell off from a supply zone like this, right? Because you can see that price, that, that's a high, right? This is a low, this is the next high, right? And all that, so forth and so on. However, news sometimes, in, mo in most cases, doesn't do what it wants you to do. Price will normally just run hot in the highs like this right it'll just go right bullish right through your supply zone in this case right but i don't want you to think too hard about this um example because we're going to go over it right now and you'll see what the strategy is the essentially the strategy is a buy limit or a sell limit order that's that's what it is okay it's a breakout strategy now i normally don't trade out breakouts but in this case in uh, specifically for news for for nfp you can trade out breakouts um so if price was going in any way right if price was consolidating whatever um we would be able to put a uh buy stop excuse me it's a buy stop not a not a buy limit it's a buy stop or a sell stop right down here right and we wait for prices to run either bearish or bullish so because price is unpredictable right and we don't predict we anticipate and it's hard to anticipate on an nfp news price could either run bullish like this and tap your buy stop right or prices can run bearish and tap your sell stop like this right something like that so that's what we're looking for um so let's continue from here and i'm going to show you what i'm talking about so uh again i just want to actually clarify one last time right like it doesn't matter how the market is and what uh condition price looks like right it can either it can do higher highs for all price um creates something like this right it can do whatever right we just need to find it identify the low and the high right wherever the high is the high may be here or if price was below the high can also be at this current high right make sure it's a swing point it make sure it's structure right what you're seeing a structure the current high and the current low and then price will run one way or another and it's going to tap your buy stop or sell stop okay so um uh yeah there's mo other scenarios if price was obviously higher like this right and in about two to three minutes you, w you would wait probably about two to three minutes before price breaks this high because this is the actual high right now right from this low to this high that's the actual high you wait for price to break this high as well now let me let me just engage you on this right here um i'm gonna stop with this drawing here this drawing nonsense i'm gonna go straight into the actual live chart okay so here's what you need to know the NFP news happens every uh, once a month on the first Friday of every month. Okay, so that is uh, NFP happens. Okay, uh, uh, every uh, Friday of the first month. Okay, every Friday of the first month, and the timing is important. The time is New York time, 8.30. Okay, not 9.30, but 8.30, right here, 8.30 a.m. And it has to be 8.30 a.m., okay? Um, now, obviously, uh, since I live in Los Angeles, the news will be at 5.30 for me. 
So I would need to be at 5.30 or I need to be uh, before earlier on the charts before 5.30 before news comes out, right? But uh, again, it's 8.30 a.m., not 9.30. Normally, New York session opens at 9.30 a.m., all right? So this is all you need to know, okay? So the way to backtest this, and I'm going to show you guys this cool nifty trick, if it's a trick. <clears throat> Let's go here. You're going to click this little calendar here, right? This calendar is going to pop up. Make sure that your... Uh, that your time zone is set to New York time, okay? That this uh, time chart here is set to New York, okay? Um, and then once that's New York, you're gonna now go forward and play this forward and go to 8.30. Let's go play this here. We're gonna check out 8.30. That's 14 right there. Um, let's continue here. This is 15, excuse me in a second. Let me just play this fast forward a bit. Okay, let's delete that. Okay, let's continue right there. Okay, we're at 1.30 now. Okay, and this is 7. There's 7, so 8, 7.30, excuse me, which is right there. We're going to go to 8 now. Okay, so there's 30 minutes and counted before uh, the market actually shoots bullish or bearish. Okay, now I'm going to play it for you from here, okay, and I want you to see what price does. You can either go on a three minute, we'll talk about uh, scaling down the lower time frames, obviously, but um, we're going to just play it from the 30 minute time frame so you can see what, how NFP reacts, okay? Look at that. You can see price went bullish and bearish both at the same time. Now, a lot of you guys don't trade news, I can tell, and, I, and for the specific, very specific reason as to why, is because price goes either bullish or bearish fast, right? But I'm going to show you the tricks on how to do this. So let's go down on a, th so actually, let's go down on a three minute right here. I want you to show you here. There's your 8:30 candle right there, right here. Okay, let's go back up, okay, and let's play 8:30 right now. So normally, I would set a buy stop right above this high. That's my current high, right? And my current low would be right down here. Now, the tighter, the better. I'm going to explain to you why. Okay, let's just say this red box represents my uh, buy stop here and the sell stop is here, okay? So that's my current high the price creating. Now, of course, you can be a little bit safer and just target that high as well. It doesn't really matter. The only reason uh, what matters is that your buy stop and sell stop is at a current lower and a current high, wherever that may be. It could be a little more tighter here, here, or there, okay? Uh, so let's just say this, for example, right? So whenever price opens up, right, price has, <coughs> price has one of two things. It's either going to go bullish or bearish. It's going to tag your buy stop or sell stop right away. So let's play this quickly, right? And look at that, boom. So now what you what would have happened here is when price reacts here, it takes you in the trade automatically, right? So then you would have been able to get, let's see, what would this be? This would have been a 16 pip move, right? So that would have been a 16 pip move, right? Which means that you would have made 16 pips, whatever that, whatever your lot size would have been in here, right? And then vice versa, you could also make, let's see here, this would have been a 27 pip move. So you'd have made money on both sides. Now, a lot of you may think, yeah, but you know, rollable effects, like if I buy here, right, wouldn't that be, wouldn't that mean that I'm negative in the slow? No, because what's happening is the way we do this is when you when your trade is entered here, remember, I want you to think about this, that price moves very, very fast, really quick. So you need to be in and out. As soon as price tags your buy stop or sell stop, your TP should be, you should exit out of the trade right away. You can set a, um, a TP, obviously, of five or 10 pips, let's just say, um, on this on this uh, on this move here, obviously, right. So if you want a five or ten pip gain, then you should set your TP at a five or ten pip, or maybe even fifteen, whatever you choose. Uh, generically, price moves about forty to fifty pips in one, or sometimes even sixty. I've seen the sixty and ninety, up to ninety pips in one entire giant move. Now, NFP doesn't always have um, a uh, price doesn't always manipulate one side and then go goes the other way. Most cases, price just starts running. Right, so in in other cases, price won't even tag your buy uh, your sell, sell stop. Let's just say if you're buying here, if price went bullish, price will just start running. So that'll be about a 40 up to 40 somewhere about 40 maybe to 60 to up to 90 pips move. Okay, and that is um and that's huge, right? But in this case, uh, we built a strategy where you can buy here quickly, right? Normally, what I what I do. 
uh, in this case is uh, whenever, um, because I have to think about manipulation and price manipulates all the time, right? I have to think that the first move is the manipulation at all times. So when price opens up, let's just say this is consolidating, right, or whatever, and then price runs the other the first way, right? There are times when price manipulates and shoots the other way, just like this example here, right? So my um, idea is always thinking that there's manipulation happening. So whenever the manipulation happens, I always have to think, okay, price runs up, right? And I'm into profit, right? I make money, great. And if price starts to, once the price starts to reverse fast, we know that my sell stops uh, is active as well. So that way the sell stop will be active as well. I would cut off the trade as soon as price runs quickly, and then price runs bearish again, uh, aggressively, right? Then I'm active on the sell stop and I make a ton of money going on the sell side as well. So now I'm positive on both sides. Therefore, I played, and the reason why you can win on both sides is because the buy stop, you're, you're reacting to price uh, quickly, right? You're anticipating that price is just manipulation on one side. It doesn't matter, matter whether it's manipulation or um, or profit on, on the same side. If it's one giant move like this, okay, great. You made money on one side, right? If price was manipulation on one side and then the real move on the other side, uh, on the bearish side, right? That's fine. You made money on the bullish and on the bearish side, right? So the, the trick to this is to think about manipulation, okay? Is wherever price, whenever I do my high, when I when I set my lie, uh, excuse me, when I set the my buy stop at the high or the sell stop at the low, I'm making money either way. So price is just going to run bullish, right, manipulating, or bearish with the real move. Or it could be bearish manipulation and bullish with the real move. The whole point here, it doesn't matter. It ma the only thing that matters is that your, that your expectation to understand that I'm expecting manipulation in the market and not the real move yet. But if the real move does happen, obviously that's a plus for us. Either way, it's a plus for both of us, whether it's the manipulation on the upside or, or uh, and, the, and the real move to the downside, or manipulation to the downside and the real move to the upside, okay? So let's go, without me talking to you guys, you're off. Let me go through another example here. Okay, we're gonna talk about the buy stops and sell stops again. That's 15, so let's go to 8.30, right there. Nope, not yet, let's continue there. All right, that's 4.30. 5, 536, 637, 730. Okay, right, that's 730. Okay, right there. Okay, so now we're at 730, right? Let's go down to the three minute, right? And so what I like doing is I always like to go on the lower time frames just to get enough of the move, right? If I was here on a 30 minute high there, right? Uh, and then a 30 minute low here, it's not a bad thing. The only reason is I, I want to get enough of the move, right, and be in profit as soon as possible. I don't want to be in profit later. That doesn't mean that price won't, even if you're on a 30 minute, it doesn't necessarily mean that price won't put you into profit right away. It's just, you know, it takes most of the, the most of the move from the low side here, right? And then, then it starts to cut off at the high, right? I want to be able to get into this other portion of the, um, of the uh, move as well. So let's go from here. Now we're, it is uh, uh, 7.57. Um, I need to approach, hold on a second, I need to get to 8.30. Why is that not 8.30? Here we go, 8.24, 8.27 is there. Okay, so let's readjust this. There's my current high, right? And the current low, I can make either this on a three minute there, or I can make it even this if I wanted to right here. Right now, why is that the current high? Because that this high here swept the previous high, so that is the current high. It's not a swing high, but it, it it is a high in general, right? So this is what I would do. I would probably put about five pips apart from the from the actual high here because we want to see if prices can come and generate uh, higher. Okay, so that's probably it's about five pips right there. Okay, so let's see what happens. I'm gonna play this. Boom. There we go. That's the only news that happened that day on 8.30. Now, normally, again, normally news is cr pretty quick and pretty fast. You would have been, you would have made money here again. This is about 17 pips, okay, 17.8 pips. So you'd have made money, right? But notice how the manipulation, this may or may not have been a manipulation, right? Um, because we don't see the actual move run bearish in this case, right? So you would have made money again. Okay, and that was, uh, what is this? The month of uh, March, okay? Uh, let's go to 
the next one. Actually, excuse me, guys. I think I just did this wrong. Wrong. That is incorrect. Because I, ne you need to use this. I didn't even look at the, I didn't even look at this. So let's go to the first. That would be. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna use this chart. Specify 8:30. Okay. Let's go down to 8:30. Right there. So what you're telling this chart is that at 8:30 is when I want price to. Um, I want to see the NFP price, right? So NFP right here on a Friday, which is right there, okay? Friday, so it's November the 23rd today, right? Not today, excuse me, but it's November the 24th, 3rd of this month, right here. We're the 28th today. All right, so that's Friday, the first Friday of November, right, at 8.30 a.m., okay? Let's go to, actually, you know what? Let's just get rid of this. And I'm going to go here because I'm going to do it this way. Okay. And then we're going to go again. Friday. Let's go 830. Quickly here. Right there. On a Friday. Right. We're going to tell price to go there. Right. Okay. Notice this huge, huge area here. Right. This huge move. Now I'm going to cut this. Splice it right here. Okay. Watch this, guys. All right. So again, let's pretend that this is our high there and our low here okay and we're looking for the buy stop or sell stop to activate let's continue boom right you're immediately into profit right there so you would have been able to get 44 pips on this move right so the beauty of this is obviously there's no manipulation happening it's just one giant move pushing to the upside okay let's do another one i'm going to show you guys a few more examples okay friday right there of october now so i'm going backwards right uh, the previous uh, one was this one was November. This is October at 8:30. Let's continue from here. Right. Look at this giant move here too. Boom. Right. So let's continue here. Right. Let's do the buy stop sell stops. Okay. So we see a buy here and a sell here. Okay. So that's that's a high there and this is a low. Excuse me. Right. So or you can do it comfortably at this high if you want. Any high is okay. You just need to have some room. You know, at least give us about five pips room. Let's say from this low, this would be about, so the five pips, yeah, right there. So we can just do about five there, right? And same thing about here, set it to about five pips from this candle, something like that. Okay, cool. So let's continue. Boom, look at that. It triggers your sell stop right away. It doesn't trigger your buy stop, right? Your sell stop's triggered though. And this is another giant move you could be uh, taking advantage of. Let's look at what's happening here. There's about 53 pips, guys, right there. 53 pips. This is insane. Let's go here, uh, Friday, uh, on, uh, what is it, September. Let's look at it again, right? Here's another giant move right there, right? This is all NFP, guys. You guys can all uh, take advantage of the moves here very easily. Okay, uh, let's go to this high here because that's the next high. Right? And it's about five pips from here anyway, so you would just calculate about five pips from here. Let's say, okay, it's almost five pips. So this would be five pips there at that high. Great. So now I will just drag this to the five pip mark, and there should be about five pips down here as well. Just like that. All right? So let's continue. Boom. All right, so there you go, guys another giant move right so in this case and this is one of the reasons i want to uh, kind of stress um my thoughts on here okay notice how price comes down and manip manipulates and sweeps the lows right you could also have this is why i want to stress to you guys is because you can have a tight stop loss like this right a buy stop excuse me you can still take advantage of this this would be about four pips right but it'd be quick fast in and out right and then the opposite way you can take advantage of this is about 20 pips about 25 pips or so right so uh i'll do one more example here just to show you guys one last time how it works you're always going to go on the calendar just to back test this right and you can see august this is the august on the very first friday which is the fourth at 8 30 a.m new york time boom all right let's go see here's another giant move again you can make money either way bearish or bullish you just need to get it in and out as quick as possible um let's go look at here all right so let's just say that's my current high there which it is 
Okay, and the current low is here, right there. Okay, you can also put about five pips, uh, five pips away from the uh, away from the high and the low, just so you can have enough enough breathing room. So maybe price doesn't have to take you out on the sell stop or buy stop, depending. Okay, so it's about there, right? All right, but what I like doing, like I said, is I like to play it also close, very close like this, because now I know I can play either the buy stop or sell stop. So let's play this, for example. Boom, look at that. You could have made money on both sides, right? You would have made 20 pips on this one, and you would have made money on the other one. The trick to this is to cut off the trick, cut off the trade as soon as you can. There's 31 pips there, right? So guys, I hope this video actually helped you guys to see. This is one of the ways I trade news and take advantage of news um, once a month, right? You can comfortably make money once a month on this, you know, depending on what your lot size is, obviously. Um, you can comfortably make good money every month just doing this, right? So anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful and you, can and you were able to understand what I was talking about. I will post another video uh, sometime this week on the uh, second way to trade NFP news, okay? Um, and that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment on the uh, below and let me know what you guys thought about this video uh, and uh, what other uh, topics I could talk about uh, for the next videos, all right? Until then, we'll talk to you soon.